Hello again. I come with another video that is organization blocks used as troubleshooting. We will see OB80 on this video. So let's go to our PowerPoint. OB80 is a cyclic fault or time error. So the operating system of the CPU calls OB80 when our an error, error occurs like first one cyclic monitoring time exceeded. The second OB request error or the requested OB is still executed or OB was requested too frequently within a given priority class. And the third option is time of day interrupt error. That is interrupt time passed because clock was set forward or after transition to run. So if OB80 had not been programmed, the CPU changes to the stop mode. Okay. OB80 have default variables to give some error information and uh, error message displaying. So there are so many variables here. So you will use those variables later to get some information from the hardware. And uh, there are some error codes for OB80. Like if the error code is one, it is cycle time exceeded. If it is two, the co the called OB is still being executed, and likewise other error codes. So we will see this later, and let's go to our schematic manager. Here, I let's create one error for OB80. So let's open function one that I have already created. So here is one network with a loop so this network will run endlessly without stopping so the ex uh, execution time will be exceeded let's start okay let's enable this one to see Let's see the CPU. So the CPU goes to stop mode because the program runs without end. So let's see the error code on our hardware configuration. So as you see, there is an error on our CP. Let's see the diagnosis buffer. So as you see, the CPU stopper because time error. OB is not loaded. So I can we can see those here some information. So this is without OB80. So let's add OB80. So we created OB80 and uh, this memory bit will interrupt our loop function on function 1. Okay, let's load. Okay, our function is here. 
so let's uh, run the, our CPU so our CPU is ready let's start our loop function so the loop is running now so if the time it, the time is now exceeded so it shows system fault so it's our OB80 interrupts the loop so our OB gives or stops out the loop so let's see the hardware configuration again okay great so the cycle time exceeded but our cpu is still running with system fault here are some uh, messages on the hardware so we we want those messages on our program and uh, those send to the hmi to troubleshoot easily or to inform for the technician so let's do that one so when we open ob80 there are some default variables like fault id and ob number and so, so many variables here so let's extract some of that use use it to diagnosis let's get some fault id and the priority of the ob and the ob number that causes error so let's see So I bring from the OB21 to, to FC1. So let's see. Let's monitor. Okay. This value has, value are now zero. Because there are no errors. So let's create the error. okay as you see the error code is one that means cyclic time exceeded and ob number that causing error is one so because we called our fc function fc1 on our ob so the error causing ob is ob1 so we got the information is that displayed on the hardware to our Siemens program and uh, we will send this message to the HMI to get more information about the error. So this will help to do agonesis for the technician easily. So as you see, Cyclic program error is on OB1 and the priority is 1. So we get those information in our programs. Thank you. I have done on OB1. See you for the next video. Thank you again.